Well, hello, and welcome to Marty Plays Games. It is the midweek stream, it is a Wednesday, and we are taking a look at Life is Strange Double Exposure on the PC. In this game, we are continuing the story of Max Clawfield. It is a 29th of October 2024 release. It has mostly positive reviews. 75% of the 1,219 are positive. But this game has had some controversy around the uh, continuation of the story based on your decision at the end of Life is Strange 1. Where you have to choose between Bay and Bay. I chose to save Chloe because I didn't spend that whole game helping her just to have her die. Um, but I did play that on Xbox. So I don't know how this playing it on PC is going to handle that. Whether we make a choice as to whether we saved Chloe or not at the beginning of the game. We will find out. So when Max Clawfield finds her friend Safi dead in the snow... She tears open the way to a parallel timeline. Here Safi is still alive and still in danger. With a new power to shift between two timelines, can Max solve and prevent the same murder? Well, she didn't prevent it though, did she? If it's happened, then it's happened and you haven't prevented it. So the premise isn't. that sensible well, we're going to have a quick look at the settings before we start a new game we have quite a lot of accessibility options here I have decided for the stream to make the choice times longer we have camera shakers on major choice confirmation I've also turned on all the other ones here are default but there's quite a lot of them uh, violence warning, suicide warning, abuse warning, drug warning, sex warning, transphobia warning. So you can't say you weren't warned. And we've got volume warnings. Graphics, we are playing this at 1440p, proper full screen, although we can only max it to 60 FPS, not 120. And we have got it on cinematic quality, which is the highest setting. Have some advanced settings there, so we are running this at 100% scaling. Um, resolution of motion blur, bloom, and time left. We'll just leave that. That's defaulted at 50%. We've got VSync on, and all of these are cinematic. Audio volumes I've knocked down to 50%. Knocked down the music a bit, but no doubt we're going to get content ID on this one. And we have some text settings. I've set this to the uh, better font, I think. And text is large. I've got subtitles on. And I haven't changed any of the other ones. And we are playing this on a pad. So I have inverted the Y axis because that is the correct way to use a pad. And it looks like we've got a hint thing there. Alright, so we're going to start a new game and play episode one. Uh, we've got to choose a jersey. We've only got three choices. There's probably some DLCs for this stuff. It's probably in the deluxe edition, eh? Looking good, Max. With your jumper. And your jeans. In your room. I think we're going to go for the Christmas jersey. Why not? Is that... Is that all we've got, is it? Right button. Oh, we've got outdoor clothing as well. 
Why does she change her trousers to go outdoors? Oh, we're going to go with that anyway. I, I'm quite happy with that. Chapter 1, still live. Is Max still taking photographs? That's what I want to know. It's certainly a better looking game. Oh, we've got V Sync on. Why are we getting tearing? criminal mastermind miss Caulfield <laughs> there's a lot you don't know about me yeah that you've got Truly, superpowers you can turn easy. back time how do we get around that at least you used uh, to be able to I'm not despairing yet oh, I am despairing I'm despairing at the bloody screen tearing no, it doesn't seem to make any difference. It just wants to do screen tearing. I don't think it's coming through on the stream, but for me, it has got some absolutely monster screen tearing, regardless of whether I've got V-Sync on or off. And it definitely should not be doing that. It's just like it's ignoring V-Sync. That is going to irritate the hell out of me. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. What are you doing? Deck 9, you need to have a word with yourself, mate. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. Lift. Why would it make that much noise? It, it's just a set of shelves. Wait for it. Go. I don't think they are um, simulating the physics in this game. Hell is right, it's incredible. Um, I think we're going with it's incredible. We just are we looking so for a um, me about this place. a photography place, it's are we? It's incredible. Ooh, that's one word for it. And uh, who is Safi I had a anyway? Friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? It's not empty, is it? It's full of stuff. What are you talking about? The potential. Uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Well, it's got the potential to be a bar. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Well, you're trespassing, really. Hell yeah. Let's hit the bar. Not Why? a bad shot. Are all oh, the bottles full? Just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. 
I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Bring me a drink. I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. Ugh. Take photographs around the environment. Yeah, you see, I... I can't believe there hasn't been anybody who hasn't broken into this empty building and emptied the bottles already. There's just no way that they would be full. Why can't I move? Why can't I change the aperture? What's my eye say? Base shift whiskey. So what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> Penguin. Gotcha, boss. No, they go in groups. Sharks. Sharks can be quite lonely. Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place Massive looks oceans. Like it's 90 of no sepsis. friends, because they end up eating them. Oh, and I hate this tearing. This tearing is just awful. Hey, partner in grime. <sighs> Come check this out. Hurry up. It's a stain. This thing is alive and hungry. Looks almost like a face. It's a big area. I like that. What are my objectives? Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> People are bad enough. The supernatural is spooky. I've been bowling since I was little. John Whittle's ninth birthday, if I remember. Weird. That is the sky. Where's all the snow come from? Fun party though. There was an ice cream cake. Is it snow or is it ice cream? I'm so glad Softy showed me this place. The ball return, look. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Let's go and have a look at the ball. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Can we fall down the hole? Apparently we can stand on gaps. Nice. Max Clawfield can levitate as well as split time. Oh, we can't go over there, can we not? We also have magical invisible walls. My favourite kind of walls. I'm surprised though, because we can't go down to the bowling middle. We can have to we'll, we'll snapshot this... it. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online she's photos? gotten rid of a polaroid yeah. though the old website is still up i wonder who's paying the hosting fees someone who loves kitsch and dust she gone digital i think so you got a wi-fi oh you've lost your way clawfield should have stuck with film and analog. All the hipsters are doing that now. Plus, you look like you've got a DSLR. Get yourself a Sony mirrorless. A 
nice hey 7 r5 I think we're going to take a picture of the beer. That's a terrible shot. That's better. We've got the beer cans in with the crushed ones now. Prefer that shot. Now yeah, we'll save that. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Greased. Don't you don't you wax bowling lanes? I think we grease them. Uh, where else can we get to then if this game is putting up invisible walls? Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Do you parrot your building? Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. The bowling balls everywhere. I I just can't believe that this was abandoned in this kind of state. Um, a claw machine. Definitely want to take a few more pictures. Do you? Is this seizing the means of production? Don't you want to take a photo of the claw machine? Free hugs. I'll pass. Do gumballs have an expiration date? Probably not. Those things will last forever. How long did it last for on the street? Forever. We should go upstairs if we can. Oh, we should take a photo of that. Come on. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh. Oh, Doug, no. Can we just get the camera at any point rewind huh. hasn't worked in years but still old habits die hard oh i just pushed the left trigger and that would have been the rewind but then uh, life is strange and apparently that doesn't work um but we can't just get a camera out by the looks We just have to have screen tearing instead. Horrible, horrible screen tearing. I told you this place was a portal to hell. Behold, I dabble. What's happened to the sound? Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off brand M&M. &M. Yeah, I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. Are you wearing a scarf? I wonder if there's any way to get it. Out Did you of even here? test this game, Deck what? Ten, you Deck mean, Nine? Steal it? I was gonna look. No, now your voice has gone back to the right voice. Now she's taking a scarf off. It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. So far, I'm not very impressed. You've got graphics issues, you've got sound issues, and I can't take photographs wherever I want. I could never resist a deal. I'd wash it first. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. Um, can I not get up the stairs then? There was one other place that we could take a photograph, but I didn't want to take a photograph there. 
If a roof collapses in a bowling alley and no one is around to hear it... Can you still collect the insurance money? Probably. The world may never know. Why was there suddenly wind there as well? Alright, I think there was a photo up that we could take of this face, wasn't there? Snapshot. Yeah, so you can only How snapshot old did you say this place was? in specific places. I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> a sound theory. Well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Um, I want to put this into portrait mode, please. And your camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's only got nine focus points. Nine? Nine? Are they even phase detect? Do you even Instagram? We'll say that. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Right, so we're gonna pull down the top, apparently. I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self portrait. I don't think it's likely to be a self portrait, is it? Where's the top then? What top? What top? That top? It's more like a cloth at the top. We'll try that. Tarp. Oh, it does. It is a bit more tarpy when you get close. Let's pull it down. Don't let the reef fall in on you, though. This is after she said she didn't like messing so with things. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh, shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here, or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this Apparently it's windy though. up here. But it's not windy down here. Or over there. There. Or up there. Find a way up? Now you it's windy. It, Sound effects are just very, very weird mixed in in the game how do we do that My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Really? I'm going with Fuffy was censored. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. With a valid Caledon. Caledon. Caledon? University ID? I don't know. I think we should try and get some new shoes. Behold, Climb! Oh, 
could have broke you your okay? toes. Damn. Yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> oh, apparently she's shouting. Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. So we've gone from um, Safi. Jesus Christ. How was she shouting through a concrete floor? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear her. What? I said, how are your... What? Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't I walk. said... You're fucking with me, aren't you? I'll keep looking. Examine the door. I'm guessing that's the right room. We'll open it then. You can open the door without screen tearing, which you can't. Let's look at the bottles. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. What? That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Is it now? Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. A derelict sign. Oh, it's a happy Wonder birthday if the sign. Wonder birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Probably not, with all the drunk kids. Right. And I think we can um, take a photograph there then, can we? Pretty sure I can get a good angle from up here. Well, you can get a straight angle. That's not a camera make I've ever heard of. Um, I don't know, it zooms in so fast. This is a rubbish shot. What, you need to be using the shallower depth of field to... Um, just blur all of some of that background rubbish, look. It's too distracting. I know lenses are expensive, but you can rent them. Oh, come on, I don't want to... I need final control over the zoom, please. I don't want that there. I kind of do want the beam in. That is a terrible, terrible shot, Max. A terrible shot. service too this place is bougie please remember to tip your ladder driver did you get your shot and let's get the hell out of this death trap so much better compositions in this bowling alley I hope you're holding on to that ladder Come on. I'm starving this loneliness makes me. You're not even holding the ladder. Could have slipped, couldn't it? Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. And move out the way. I'd move out the way. What? I hope it didn't land on your camera. Holy shit! 
shit, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Matt. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. <laughs> so what are you up to later? <laughs> sleep. If there's a just and loving God, sleep. Today's been a doozy. Ah. Well, sweet dreams. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Sadly, yes. Oh. Guilty. Flirting is like a foreign language to me. You spent all those years on the road meeting new people every day and you still can't tell when someone's into you? I don't know. You don't meet a lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. <gasps> is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? We were high school sweethearts. Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on! You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Yeah, what happened, Max? We broke up. Or oh, she died. Well, we must have broken up then, because, um... Yes, I'm going to choose that. I mean... We were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then... We weren't. He wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. Well, you were kidnapped by a psychopath and uh, tied up and injected. No. And then you weren't Never. because you turned Not back time to stop it from happening. Subject. Deal. So you, you probably got some life yeah. traumas to deal with, to be fair. She's not my type, she ain't got blue hair. I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. And she's also turned into an alcoholic. Ooh. Time to go.
to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. Right, um... Oh. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just well, they haven't had much game of a first. game, have they? It's a Polaroid! We'll take that. Ah, uh, undergrads. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. I'm pretty sure it's a statement, isn't it? A movie poster. Hell yeah, Diamond. The Here last time I saw her, that classic movie. Um, Reggie and Diamond. Is that even your real name? No way. The soup future is in my hands. Um, well, can we select one then? No. I, to is find some things I am going to add my vote, yes. I'm going to go for... Well, we can't go for peanut soup, can we? Because too many people are allergic to it. So we're going to go for clam Many chowder. Do as the New Englanders do. Peanut soup. Trying to give people anaphylactic shot, you are. We're not getting on the stage. The bands that play here are small, but have heart. <laughs> Ye, and I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Huh. A handwritten I note. admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. To the assholes who keep flipping the paintings, start messing with the people's art. Um, should we fix it? Let's fix it. Good. We're heroes. Um, no, there's no art there. Outside's closed as well. Right, where was the other one we can flip around then? We got to do that one as well? Fix it. I don't... I think you need to take that long to decide which way around is the right way around. Can we find any more? They're upside down. No, we've done that bit. Examine oh, the worst pickup man. lines. I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. Yes. Oh, how splendid. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Cheap prices. Let's fix that one as well. Let's do it laboriously slowly. And we fixed all the paintings. Hooray! Let's see if we can see any butterflies in the toilets. No. There's, there's absolutely no butterflies here. Not even a nun blue one. Hello, nun grad student. Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a ten coffee all-nighter. I have a couple of things I could talk to Amanda about, but I could always use more. Did you? Well... 
we couldn't get into the toilets, so we can't talk about the uh, cleanliness of the place, can we? Oh, that was a nice, nice stutter there. Fantastic, right. I think we've got enough stuff. We'll, we'll go and talk to her now. Hello, Amanda. Oh, hang on. Let's examine the family Jeez. photo. Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Amanda recommends misery cult, huh? I can work with that. I should be able to break the ice now. Good. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever. Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, P. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Well, you probably should. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Why did hey, you just put the dustpan and brush in the industry. bin? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. You, you know you can oh, reuse those, right. right, Max? Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> you think he'd have freshmen for that? So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> right, I suppose we've got no choice but to talk to her again. Nice pee. Oh, oh suddenly she's got the dispan and bush back. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Um, I was gonna do the misery cult. So you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Well, I don't. I just read it off a poster. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. How big are they? What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Your family? Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. And pickup lines, apparently. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. 
and the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey, baby. I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Apparently we should hang out sometime. So, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Linkport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but... Is this a date thing, or is this a friend thing? A major decision. Which one should we go for? A date thing or a friend thing? Because you've not got blue air, though. You've not got blue air. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not much of a Chloe. We're going to go with a date thing. It's a major choice. I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Five 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 oh one three nine. You, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are total blur. But Amanda's really cool. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. A coat. <laughs> Sufficient hat and gloves. She's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Off to the snow to die. Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. What? All right, Max. If you have 24 hours before the world ends, what would you do? I would take a picture. Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, Chief. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? I don't know why you'd be using a telescope like that to look at meteorite showers. But apparently we are. Because you're a good friend. 
because despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bomb around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. I am going to grab... Actually, vodka. Because we know that Max likes the drinks now. <laughs> Why not just come out and say it? I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You're pregnant. You can't tell us you have good news and then... I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me. I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn. I think I have hypothermia. I don't think so, fella. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Check your phone messages, Maybe speak to Moses. To All the phone messages. Reggie. Want to see the full post? The Geminids. Uh, we can't apparently see the full post on that. Oh, now we can. All the posts. And from Chloe. And Victoria as well. Victoria Chase. Oh, it's Chloe again with the blue butterfly. Nice. That is definitely a callback to the original game. Um... Oh, this is the top message. Okay, we're reading the text. They just stopped there, did they? 
There's no data in any of these, so... Who knows? Moses! It could be Bletchley Park. It's just down the road. Well, fair way down the road. I'm so sorry about the broken glass. I don't know how she works out where, when all of these things turn up, given there's no dates on any of them. Uh, and crossed it. I thought we'd already looked at all of those. Bloody hell. All the things. Grand Isle, the last inhabited barren of the island in Louisiana, each is in shoreland eroded by rising waters. Victoria Chase Photography. I wonder if she's still using the Leica. Right, um, didn't we just view the new message from... Oops. Reggie. Message Reggie. That's a lot of emojis. I'm the best. Right, new crossed up post from Amanda. Oops. Oh. Open mic sign up. Alright, so we've seen everything now. Cups, champagne. Moses and Safi have been friends for years. Safi's second favorite oral fixation. Bower cats. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. Can we um, look through the telescope? Apparently we can. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been as happy in years. Yeah, well, I've, I've never watched a meteor shower through a telescope like that. And seen anything appear like that through the telescope in exactly the right place. And it's not even magnified, is it? It's... How is that any different than looking at it with our eyes? Apparently it's not at all. Moses must be curious about Sophie's good news too. I mean these are decent scopes as well. That one, we've even got linked up to a, a camera system there that... Are we linking it to the uh, to the laptop as well wirelessly that is some decent amateur setup there and I think it may even be a finding scope as well Moses and Safi have been friends for years maybe he could help 
very expensive. I think I've seen a very nice Celestron scope. That actually has the cameras built into it as well. Not cheap, it's about four grand. But it's very good. Let's snapshot. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even when he's just crunching numbers. We'll try and get a um a meteorite in the shot as well. Hey Moses. Casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Well casually carefully then. Nice, we'll keep that one. And he suddenly teleported back to the table. Clever chap. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now, but Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay. Find a hiding spot How for the cap. To plant this on Safi? Well, in her sour candy, of Safi course. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. Yes, that is what we're going to do. Just got to deliver this to Safi. A snapshot. Uh... Nice try, Max. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm. How's the writing? Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, <laughs> Those are rare. You never really talk about why you came here. Because it isn't Arcadia Bay. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm going to find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. Uh, destroying, destroying a whole town. That's what. Want some candy? Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. It. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. 
Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. The rules are the rules. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talky. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. And nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. Sure it is. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safi Llewellyn Fayad. Speaking? Um, Llewellyn, surely. Be right back. Double L's are pronounced Cl. Cl. So, um, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Of course you would. Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. But if there's one survivor, there's going to be more than one, isn't there? You never know. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Oh, we don't want that in. We're kind of... See that? It's terrible. Not a decent composition there. We'll have to crop in later, Max. Alright, just wait for the um, one of the comets. Nicely right through the centre. There. Perfect. Now I've just gained some powers. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Spooky. Tilda Man. I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. I can't exactly how One thing with these games, they always have very good soundtracks. 
Celadon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. So where's Safi's dead body then? Better get a move on. That was one of those uh, life is strange moments where they let you listen to the track. Oh, nice. Yeah, in a body bag. Father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad jokes. Oh, apparently we're not going out of there. Or there. Grunholm. Can we fix the snowman? Wow, Safi. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? How do you know it was Safi that did that? Fake owl. Oh no, there it is. Is that a Polaroid? We'll have that then. <laughs> nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? With that lens, are you serious? A shot like this every day. Wow, you're really watching me, aren't you? There's no way that that lens zooms in that much, but we'll go with it. Psychic too. There's Sophie. She seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry, yeah. Sophie, hang on. Oh, Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought. You heard gunshots? We're not in a high school bathroom now. Sophie. Safi? Hey, you okay?
and that. Is life exchange? Double exposure. Well, at least the first hour and 20 minutes of it anyway. Found Don't off. say that! I won't trade you! We didn't trade you. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Well, that turned out to be a lie then, didn't it? You're always letting your friends get shot, Chloe. I mean, uh, Max, even. First it's Chloe. Now it's... Safi. Welcome to the wall, Safi. The wall of the dead. Shit. Fuck. Those aren't the clothes that I chose. No, Chloe, what's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, We had a huge blow up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. You just remembered the fight. Yes. Well, this is Life is Strange Double Exposure on the PC. A couple of technical issues main one being that screen tearing that's really horrible and there was a couple of sound issues at the beginning but I think that's kind of faded away now I've not heard any more since that opening part in the uh, bowling alley but you know the screen tearing is really disappointing in terms of the story I think the story so far is pretty interesting I quite like it and the characters are nice we'll see how this one progresses but so far so good and I shall definitely finish off this game and story but that is all from me for today i should be back again at the weekend with another game for my partner shame until then i hope you have a pleasant wednesday and i shall see you later